guys, so welcome to another episode of Ask Missy, the learning family edition. We have both Brian and Ollie here helping us out with questions. And he's got to drop deuces too. <laughs> deuces. <laughs> that was pretty cute. I actually asked you guys earlier today on Twitter for some questions and you guys sent me tons of questions. So I'm going to answer some of them right now. Our first question comes from Destani. What was your first thought when you and Brian found out y'all were pregnant with baby Ollie? What was your first thought? My well, first thought I was, was tricking him, so. <laughs> crap. No. <laughs> no. It was a complete surprise because you had obviously tricked me and I had no idea. You had just told me you weren't pregnant. You had just shown me a <laughs> negative pregnancy <laughs> test. So when I found out, I was like, holy crap, what? For real? There's just like an underlying sense of like complete and utter joy that comes with finding out you're pregnant. And I definitely felt that. Yeah, for me, I, w I was so scared. I mean, we'd just gotten done losing two pregnancies and the second one was really late on. I mean, it was it was going to it was going to be hard and there was a lot of hope in that the be finding out we're pregnant with Ollie, but a lot of like, oh my gosh, what if we go through this again? Okay, Melanie says, "Hey girl, hey, <laughs> monkeys for the win." <laughs> <laughs> my question is, if you weren't doing YouTube, what would you be doing? Love your vlogs. That's a good question. But it's hard because life just kind of takes you on a on a roll and yeah. you just kind of go with it. But if we weren't doing YouTube, what would we be doing? I think that we would find a very similar platform to you be think honest. So? Like, yeah, and like when I think about it, I'm like, "Well, you know what? Before YouTube, we would go on adventures and we'd film things and I'd put together these really cool videos that we could mm -hmm. watch later. We're not really doing much different. I mean, I think we're doing it extensively now. Yeah. Um, also because we have like a really awesome audience who watch can watch us be parents. And so we have a lot of really cool information that we want to share with you guys. I think we'd still always be filming stuff. I think I'd probably have to find another way to channel cre creativity because I think YouTube gives me a lot more freedom to do what I want. We were definitely Ollie. always like destined for this. I mean, the first time I met him, he was holding a camera. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it was just kind of <laughs> like always meant to be. When Missy decided, hey, do you, I want to start a YouTube channel, it was kind of like, okay. And then I was like, oh my gosh, like this is where we're meant to be. Like it's, yeah. it was really cool the way it, it sort of found us. And I remember when I first lost Gabriel, my first thought was, I need to do something to make this feel like, you know, I can help someone else in this situation. By the way, is anyone even listening to anything Mr. Knight nice says, or are they all just staring at <laughs> Yeah, I know. So I imagine what? he's probably being uber cute right now, right? Uber cute, but also really distracting. I don't, I'm surprised he's being so good, actually. Hopefully he makes it through this video. Our next question is from Jess. What is the best thing and the worst thing about being a mum? A mum? <laughs> like in Harry Potter. <laughs> the best thing is definitely just his cuddles, his smiles, the way he looks at you, and it's just like, I know you, you're my mommy, and I love you. The worst thing, that's such a hard question. I, I don't really ever think about like, I hate being a mom. I never ever think about anything like that. For to say something, I guess I would just, maybe there are times when you're like, I really don't have a lot of freedom. I could not just walk out of this house right now and go do something. I have a baby to take care of. So there's all, you always have a responsibility and you're never going to not have a responsibility anymore. For the most part, this is what I want to do. Morgan said, what is one tradition you will always do with baby Ollie? I mean, I, I don't think we've really had any traditions. I think what's cool about us is we're still a young new family. So we're like, this is the time where we're gonna be creating traditions. Yeah, we're I creating think over this year and the next year, are gonna be like really sort of lay a foundation for our family. Yeah, I know, I mean, definitely this first year we'll kind of like get an idea of what our traditions will be, but just with like Halloween, taking him to the um, pumpkin patch. Yeah. And like when we held him up, we held him up to a sign that showed like how tall he was this year. That it might was, be like, something we do every year. Yeah, like how tall this fall. And then you yeah. take him there every year. And that's, and I feel like we just kind of created one tradition that we'll maybe carry through. But of yeah. course we have no traditions because this is his first year, but I'm excited to start making them. And I'm a big tradition girl. Next question comes from Rosa. She says, what will you teach baby Ollie about your grandpa? Lessons he left with you. I think the biggest thing my grandpa honestly instilled in me was the fact that he is just such a man about family and staying with family and keeping family together and you know getting doing get togethers even if you're not living together. Obviously I'm already you know following in that tradition and I think that we'll always teach Oliver as far as my grandpa taught us the same thing. Kayla said what's the best memory you have together as a couple? P.S. love you guys. Love you! <laughs> what's the best? You go. You don't have a, the uh, best memory? 
I have a horrible memory, you know that. You really do. I would say like one of my like fondest memories or one of the memories I really remember is when we first started dating, we would just like skip school and just like go over to his grandma's or go like around town. And um, I'd always have to drive home alone, but I'd always listen to like cool music and we'd like text the whole time. It was really dangerous. I think that's a fun memory <laughs> because when our kids are teenagers, we'll get to tell them how as teenagers, we were in love. Yeah. And we did all the like same fun things that they do. Oh, you know what my best, okay. Something really cool we did. Okay. Remember our, uh, people do ask us a lot what our first date was and I don't remember what our first date was. Do you remember? No. First date we had right when we got back together. Do you remember that one? Mm -hmm. It was in, It was like really late at night, like 11 o'clock at night. He took me to this like parking lot and we had to climb Sounds over. Scary. <laughs> hang on. <laughs> climb over a fence. Okay. And go into a big golf field. It was a golf course. Oh, I remember this, yes. And then we had to like hike up into the hills. The 18th hole. Yeah, the 18th hole. Yeah. And then we sat up there, we got like a blanket and yeah, like- chocolate. Yeah, and we sat up there and we watched the shooting stars. Yeah. That's a really cool memory. Brianna said, what's your favorite Christmas movie? My favorite is Elf. I love Elf. Oh my God, I'm oh, yeah. so obsessed with Elf. Elf is so Buddy. Cool. Oh my God. I like to whisper, whisper is my favorite. <laughs> All right, next question comes from Kim. She says, what's one item you can't live without? Yeah, I know like we use our phones and our cameras and computers a lot, but I feel like I could live without it. I think I'd actually be kind of happy. Sometimes <laughs> I want to throw my phone into the trash can and walk away. <laughs> I'm going to go really shallow. A blanket. <laughs> okay. I just love blankets. I always just want to cuddle. If I had to sleep outside, I just at least need a blanket. Next question comes from Megan. She says, if you had a daughter in the same situation with your uterus, what advice would you give? If we had the availability to figure it all out before she has to go through anything, I think I would probably do the same thing I'm doing now. I mean, no matter what, if she's a woman, she's probably gonna wanna have babies and she's gonna do whatever she can to get to it. And I think that just that risk at all, that like, if we, if you don't have a surgery and you just go with it with the uterus you have and you might lose it, I think that's like, why would you mm -hmm. put yourself through that? You know, yeah. we've gone through it twice, and it's not worth like we. I don't. I don't think we would try again. No, if I've, there was no ability to fix, fix it. Fix it. I know. Is he doing something cute? He's <laughs> just. He's just always being cute. All right. Last question comes from Danielle. What's the hardest thing about putting your life on the internet for everyone to see? This question. We get this a question a lot. I mean, yeah. I think our lives are so like interesting. The fact that we do put it out there that everyone's yeah. like. Why and how and how hard is it? It can be hard sometimes. I, think I don't think the hard part is like filming or editing or doing any of no, that. No, that's not really hard. It kind of becomes second nature to just like, oh my gosh, she's doing something cute, film it, you know? What am I doing right now? I should film it. But I mean, the hardest part is just the fact that people don't truly really understand, you know, how we film and the fact that we don't show you guys everything. You see such a, a small part of our life. And I think we say it a lot. The negativity can get to you. It really can, but you can't, you, you just can't listen to it. You can't even look at it. You can't even acknowledge it, really. Yeah. It's sometimes you have to, cause you just so like, I gotta stand up for myself. But some, most of the time you just have to not look at it. Live your life because you know what? I have confidence in myself that I know that what I'm doing and how I'm living is good and yeah. right. And I, I'm i very it, confident in myself. The thing is, is that you have to have confidence in yourself. Oh, I think we're confident in our marriage. I think we're confident in the way we parent. I think that if people were to imagine, how do you live your life without commenters? Most people do a really good job of raising a good baby and having a good life. And they don't need comments to their life constantly. So I imagine I'm doing what I'm doing correctly. I feel really happy with the way that I raise my son. And so yeah. All right guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's Ask Missy special edition with the Lanning family. And I did wanna ask you, what is one item you can't live without? Leave it in the comments below. Like this video if you did, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and we'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. I said bye with his foot. I saw that. Favorite candle scent. My favorite candle scent is definitely pumpkin spice. Like all year round, I'll do anything that's pumpkin. But of course, anything that's like baked goods too, like apples and cinnamon and stuff like that. But pumpkin's definitely my all time favorite. Number two is coffee, tea, or hot chocolate. Right now, I'm actually drinking a pumpkin.